Branville Ritchie guilty as charged, and now it's up to the jury to decide if he'll face the death penalty for the murder and rape of nine-year-old Felicia Williams. It on your side's Victoria Price joins us now live tonight in Temple Terrace with the latest. Hey, Josh, it only took the jury about four hours to come to a verdict in this case, something that Temple Terrace police have waited for for five years. As the court read the verdict, Granville Ritchie barely moved a muscle. But Temple Terrace Police Chief Kenneth Albano breathed a huge sigh of relief. So what does today mean for you and your department? Closure. We're not finished, but closure. His small department took the helm of a massive investigation when nine-year-old Felicia Williams disappeared from Temple Terrace in 2014. Albano broke the news to her family when they found her body near the Courtney Campbell Causeway. You can't help but be grafted into the family, into the grief, into the mourning. And he was by the family's side during the two-week trial as the state argued Richie deserved to die for raping and strangling the little girl. The defense arguing the evidence was all circumstantial, no DNA and no signs of sexual battery on Felicia's body. We're going to do the best we can to uh, present his case um, and, and try to uh, save his life. And and I did briefly speak with the victim's family. They're holding off on speaking publicly until after the penalty phase, which begins first thing tomorrow morning. Temple Terrace Police Chief says he'll be there. Reporting live in Temple Terrace, Victoria Price, 8 on your side.